are our souls at stake. Let's give it our best. Let's take them back. Back to the Bible. Welcome to Reaching the Lost Success Strategies. Have you ever gone to a website and you couldn't successfully navigate? You couldn't find what you're looking for. You knew they had the product, but you couldn't find it on the website. Have you ever had trouble checking out and you couldn't figure out how to pay? And, and when you tried to pay, it rejected your payment over and over again. What do you do when you go to a website like that? Well, you just uh, go to a different website because there's lots of different stores where you can get your product most of the time. When I was growing up, my mother would give me the Sears of Robot catalog and she'd give it to my sister and I, Christina, we'd go through it and we'd look for our Christmas gifts. Then she'd take that and go to, you know, she'd go to uh, Sears and get the gifts. Sometimes we go to Wards or maybe another department store. These department stores don't even exist anymore. Kmart, and that's how we did our shopping. Today, our shopping is much different. We use websites. And um, the key to uh, a successful website is, is it easy to find the product? Is it quick to check out? Um, can you navigate it um, easily? Is it pleasing to the eye? Can you? Is it current? Um, is it slow? Does it give you what you're looking for quickly? What about your church website? You know, congregational websites is are an evangelism tool. And in order for it to work properly, it needs to have the same kind of metrics you'd use for any other store. You, it needs to be current. It needs to be easily navigated, pleasing to the eye. It needs to have the most important information prominent, like, you know, contact information. So when you go to your website, can you easily find your time of services? That's important. Is it current? You know, my family travels all the time and we'll be perhaps going home on a Sunday afternoon and we're not going to make it. So we got to stop at a church on Sunday night. It's not uncommon for us to go to the website of that congregation in the area, look at their service times, arrive, and they're finished or they have moved their service times. And there's no information on the website to let us know. So we miss that evening worship assembly because your website doesn't work. Now, I'm certainly not going to become unfaithful because your website doesn't work. But let me ask about the person in your, your community who's looking for a church home. They go to your website and the website, you can't navigate. You can't find contact information. It's not correct. There's no address. Right now, type in your church website. Is it current? Is it working? Can you access it? All right. Use the same standard you'd use for any other business. And, and because it's important. Now, there's no yellow pages. There's no white pages. There's no phone book. There's no Sears and Roebuck catalog. We got to have websites that work. I don't care where you're located, how, how rural you are. And I don't really care how sophisticated you are. You say, well, I've got a lot of IT guys here and they work on our website, but most of those IT guys are probably very busy. And sometimes they let those websites fade into the background and they're no longer current. Why am I doing this training video? Because we offer free websites. If you don't have a good website for your congregation, contact us at House to House, Heart to Heart. If you're receiving our publication, we will in turn provide you a free service. We will give you a website. The website's very attractive. It's easy to navigate. It's an evangelism tool. You want your website to pop up when people move into your community and they're looking for a church home. If it does not pop up, if it's not working, you're missing out on another contact. Contacts made by websites functioning websites. So we want to encourage you to make sure you have a website, you have a URL, and that someone is keeping it current. If you'll send us the information, we'll populate that website for you. It's free. It's no charge. Now, you can go out there and pay a company a lot of money, a webmaster, to keep it up. And um, I'm not, I'm certainly not suggesting that uh, that you shouldn't do that because they can probably do more than we can do. But if you're depending on someone in the congregation, let's make sure they're actually doing it. And if they're not doing it, let's make a change, alter course. Websites are an evangelism tool. Make sure you have one successfully updated so that we can reach the loss in our local area. To God be the glory. May souls be saved. We just plant and water, then watch God see the increased stars. There are souls at stake, let's give it our best.
Yes, let's take them back, back to the Bible.